Hello everybody and welcome to my video on how to share PowerPoint slides in Microsoft Teams during a meeting. Uh, there are various ways of doing that and I would like to take you through all the ways that are possible to you and then you can basically make a choice which one you would prefer. At the same time, I will show you how it looks like on the other end of somebody who is in the meeting. So you see both perspectives. So let's just jump over to a Microsoft Teams meeting that I have scheduled with another person. You see the other person is already in the meeting and uh, that person is just excited about what I'm about to share. I also have a PowerPoint already open here in the background, as you can see. And I will be starting to screen share with that other person. It is important to know that you cannot do this unless you are uh, you have scheduled the meeting. Yeah, so the meeting needs to be in the calendar, but it shouldn't be much of an issue because if you are setting up Teams meeting links with your students, that should be the case regardless. Just let me make this larger. The meeting is ongoing, and I would like to share my slides with the other person. Of course, you click here on the share content here on top, and the first way of doing that is if you just share your main screen. Yeah, so I'm sharing my main screen, just gonna go ahead and do that. And on my main screen, I have my PowerPoint. Of course, it shows everything you have on the main screen. Yeah, so it could be your emails, it could be a browser window, it could be anything, including PowerPoint. Uh, of course, here PowerPoint is, it's not, doesn't, doesn't look very nice at this stage, yeah? So you could go ahead and of course start presentation that you would just do down here, as you can see. Yeah, so just here, start the slideshow. Uh, I won't be doing that uh, at this point, because if I did that and I didn't make any changes to my slideshow settings, then it would go into presenter mode. And the problem is then, if you have two screens, it would basically cover both of your screens. One screen would be your main presentation and the other screen would be uh, the notes. Yeah, so you know from presenter mode. Um, of course, uh, you can't see your Teams uh, then anymore. You can't see a Teams chat, you can't see any interactions uh, at that point. So in order to avoid that situation uh, and without just, you know, resizing things here in the main window, that's never elegant. So don't do that, that you resize and you get rid of the ribbon. It's not, re not really elegant to do. So instead of doing that, you go into the slideshow settings here in uh, PowerPoint, you click on it, and then you look for the command set up slideshow. You click on that, and by default, the show type in the pop-up window, it says presented by a speaker full screen, that's the default. Select browsed by an individual window. When you click OK, and we start our presentation, what you notice is that you still see the Chrome here, so the, the, the edges of the window, but the ribbon is gone, so no more ribbon on top, no preview here on the side, uh, and you can just share that presentation and it does not cover up your second screen. So on my second screen, I can just go ahead and watch the chat of my Teams meeting, for instance. And this just behaves normally, you can just go through your slides, and present them that way. So how does this actually, this uh, type of sharing look on the screen of uh, an audience member, of a participant? Very simple, I can show you. So let's just switch over to a different view and you can see that here I'm actually logged in with uh, my other user. So the other Gerhard is logged in here and that's what the other Gerhard sees. So you can still see the edges of, of that window, just as I shown you earlier, the so-called chromes here. Yeah? So this is what the other participant would see. So let's talk about the second way of how to share PowerPoint slides in a Teams meeting. For that, we're gonna go again up to share content. And instead of using the screen, we're actually gonna use an individual window. You can see the number of windows that are currently open on your system, in my case, it's quite a lot. You click on that and then you can go ahead and find your open PowerPoint presentation that in my case is already in presentation mode. So I click on that and now it is being shared. Here on top it says presenting is being shared to my audience. Yeah, so you can see they see a very, very similar 
window, but of course they see everything that I have here in my window, including my mouse cursor. You see the ribbon, you see the preview windows here. I start my show. The effect is pretty much the same as with the earlier way of just sharing the main screen. You see there's not no difference there. Uh, one difference is there though, you can of course do uh, other things on your main screen. You can open a browser window and then it does not show, of course, in that in that window. Yeah. So just to show you, I'm going to switch back to actually my screen here. And you can see this is what I would see as the presenter from my end. Yeah. So I'm sharing my screen here and I can just go ahead and do my presentation uh, and my teaching. Yeah. So that's the second way of doing it. And again, it has just as the, the main screen share, it has this, it shares the same disadvantage. It uh, shows uh, basically the window uh, by itself. So if I should end the slideshow, it shows this. If I just switch over again to the participant view. So this is what the participant sees on the other end of the line. They see the window itself. And now I'm showing you the next way of doing it. And this way has a great advantage as you'll find. So again, I'm gonna start my screen share, but now I'm going to going down to PowerPoint Live. In PowerPoint Live, you basically need to upload a PowerPoint. So you cannot run a PowerPoint that is currently open on your, on, on your screen or on your system, on your computer and then use that. You need to upload PowerPoint because you're basically going to run PowerPoint inside the Teams meeting. But the best way of doing that, and I I would suggest prepare this before the meeting, you upload this to your OneDrive or to a shared space on Teams. Or on, on the day, before you start the meeting a couple of minutes before the students come in, and then you can either go to browse OneDrive or browse my computer. I'm going to click on browse my computer and I'm going to call up a different presentation. So here I'm on my computer and I'm going to have a look at a different presentation. Let's say I'm going to pick this one here. I'm opening it. It's uploading. You're just going to wait until the upload has finished. Then you see this PowerPoint live. And now something interesting happens here. So you're already sharing the PowerPoint. Yeah. So this is what you see. This is uh, this should be familiar to you because what you're basically seeing here is the presenter view uh, of, 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 of the PowerPoint. The advantage now is this is not what your audience sees. So let me show you what the audience sees. So I'm going to switch over to the window and you see this is what the participant sees. They see the PowerPoint in full screen. But you see the presenter view. So that includes all your notes as well. If you have any notes as a, as a reminder or as a little script for a slide or things that you don't want to have on the slides, then you can use it that way. And of course, you can just go ahead and switch between the slides, either by clicking on them. Yeah, so again, this is the, the view that you see right now on the screen is the view that I, the presenter, have. Yeah. And if I just switch over to the other window, so basically this is what the participant sees, and I switch between the windows, you can see that I'm actually, yeah, so if you have something like this, so I'm clicking on the slide, or I use the, the, the keyboard the arrows, yeah, so this is my view. You see that I have notes here on the side. I have my main presentation here, but my participants see this. They see the main presentation. Yeah, they just can go ahead and navigate that in presenter view as before. And then of course I can stop presenting at any point in time. So on the other window, so the participant, they can do the following. Yeah. So if I just go into my participant window, I can basically just go ahead and I can click for it myself. As you can see here. Yeah, so I'm now the participant. I'm not the presenter, so basically the student. And they could just go ahead and click. Yeah, and then if they want to know, okay, um, they, they click the heads, they have a look at the various slides. And if they want to go back to where the presenter is, they would need to click on to presenter. 
If you don't want your students to do that, if you don't want them to barge ahead in the presentation, then you need to do the following. Let me show you on the main screen. Here on top of the main screen, next to stop presenting, is a little eye symbol. Yeah, right there. It says prevent participants from moving through shared presentation on their own. If you click on that, you're disallowing students or participants to jump the queue, to jump ahead, basically. So just let me show you again from the participants point of view. So this is the participants point of view. And you can see that now down here, they cannot do that anymore. They cannot jump ahead. So it, this, this choice, of course, entirely depends on do you allow, do you want students to go to jump ahead and look at slides ahead um, of where you are, or do you want to have them focused on where you are at the moment? So that, of course, is your choice as a teacher. So that last bit I just do as a precaution because you might actually not come across this situation. But I'm now again in my participants view. And if I hover my mouse pointer over this, I see a couple of controls here, as you can see. And one of the controls, after having disallowed participants to move independently across the slides, it says here, take control. Now, it may be that your students don't actually see that because of the uh, permits they have when you are the media organizer and they are participants. But just in case, I want to cover that too. If they if they would be cheeky and say, oh, hey, it says take control. Let's take control. And I take control here. So now the participant has control over the, the, the presentation. They could just go ahead and change the presentation here. Of course, in your, in your view, in your window, if I click back, so this is what I see, you can see that you're being informed another user took control someone else is now in control of the presentation. In that case, you can just take it back. Students might not notice that, but if they do and they start playing around with this, this is something that you should be able to change in the meeting options. How can you do that? You go up to more actions. You go to meeting options and then you see the meeting options here. And then it says here, who can present? change this to only me and save okay so let's go ahead and switch over to the participants view and see if they can, still can take control i hover my mouse point over this and you can see that they they cannot take control of your presentation anymore yeah so the take control button has gone they can only see the slide number of however many slides you have in that set you have disallowed them to jump ahead as well in this case. So therefore, they are basically just following what you do. Yeah, so click ahead. You do your presentation. And I switch back to my view again. I see you have a presentation mode. So you can change this during the meeting. So should you notice that you have not set the meeting options beforehand in who can present, and you see that students are starting to getting a bit playful with your presentation, then you go to the meeting options and change that setting on the fly and you're good to go. All right. And that's basically it, how you would uh, sh uh, share your PowerPoint slides. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, give it a like, pop a comment below and we're good to go. Thank you and see you later.